Well, for me, I started really looking differently, definitely at the martial arts uh, after I came back from cancer. Greg Nelson is a world-class kickboxer who'd already kicked two kinds of cancer. He thought he was home free, but soon after, he began to lose the feeling in his legs and suffered excruciating pain. The male clinic yeah, because to now, to prior to that, you know, I was an all-American gymnast, a collegiate wrestler, fought in judo, fought in Muay Thai, competed in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Everything came pretty easy. When I came back from cancer, it's like I had to learn everything all over again, but now in a body that wasn't as athletic. And all of a sudden, I was that guy that does the shrimp whose feet move and the body doesn't. And I'm going, oh my gosh, I'm that guy now. I'm the person I used to make fun of. So it's like, man, it totally changed my whole mentality. It's like, man, I can see now why it's not so easy for other people to do this. So I started shifting that mentality to start working with all groups of people, all levels of people, not worried about ego, knowing that, hey, this is all about development, all about taking a person from point A to point B. And everybody, regardless of how and where they start, is a beginner somewhere. Right, so that's why even with the fighters, we can say, hey, this guy is a great wrestler, he's pretty good on the ground, but he is clueless when it comes to striking. And I just, I'm straightforward with him, and I'm really honest with those people. And for me, I looked at it, I, I had to start all these different arts. I was a wrestler, and then I had to start doing Jean Fon martial arts, and then I started doing Filipino martial arts. And it was all brand new, it was all foreign to me. Then I had to start Silat and start Wing Chun and start all this stuff that was totally brand new. And to me, it was all about just the process of learning something new and how am I going to be able to fit it in to how I can, you know, at one time compete and then also how am I going to utilize this in a real, you know, self-defense situation. And it's just a process of self-discovery from the beginning. And that's a, almost every day you're learning something new. Were there some days that were tougher than others in the realization and the acceptance of that? And how did you get over it? Yeah, for sure. Because when I came back, everybody that I used to be able to smash was smashing me, all right? And I couldn't really move the same way. So I, all of a sudden I had to realize, man, this is why, in my case, Professor Pedro Sauer says that self-defense is about the defense first. Defend, defend, defend. I always, always had the ability to attack and attack and attack and attack. Now I had to reverse that whole mentality and just be defense, defense, defense for a while. Now the other thing that he really uh, made me focus on was get really good at just fundamental technique. And as soon as you find yourself using your speed, your athleticism, your strength to make something work, you got to stop, slow it down, and say I got to make the technique work for me, not my attributes. And Doing that really obviously accelerated my ability to, to grapple and everything else, but when I came back, I now had this really strong, solid, you know, foundational, technical, you know, base I could come back from. And now I just had to focus a little bit more on the defense. And there's times where it's just like, geez, how, how long is this gonna take? And I had to really have that mindset of a beginner again, because it was like learning a lot of the different arts all over again, because I didn't have that same, that same, athleticism that I had before. So I had to break things down, I had to create drills, I had to figure out how to move differently. And I remember what Jean-Jacques said, Jean-Jacques Machado said, you don't change for jiu-jitsu, jiu-jitsu changes for you. He has a new life again. Um, he's going back to his love of his life um, and his work and he's taking care of his children. And um, it, it's sort of a miracle when you see him completely change like this. Since Greg's successful biopsy and will be recovery, in a remarkable turn, doctors at the Mayo Clinic have discovered five more rare cases of cancer of the sciatic nerve. The doctors and Greg then have helped pioneer discovery and treatment of this disease.